and we'll reveal how recent discoveries have shown that Neanderthal DNA still has a profound impact on us. It's affecting our skin, it's affecting our immune system, it's affecting our risk for cancer. It turns out that studying Neanderthals isn't just about understanding our distant past. They also have so much to tell us about our present and even our future. This is the very southern tip of Europe, the Rock of Gibraltar. I've come here in search of clues to what might have happened to the Neanderthals. We think that this dramatic peak rising out of the Mediterranean may have been one of the last places that they survived. At its peak, Neanderthal territory spread right across Western Asia and Europe. But 45,000 years ago, as the Ice Ages grew colder, the European Neanderthals were squeezed into the warmer southern parts of their range. Here, there was a milder climate, plenty of food, and the fossil evidence tells us that they settled in these caves. So who are these people? These are my friends, Nana and Flint. The two Gibraltar Neanderthals, aren't they wonderful? And they're so lifelike. Yeah, they're amazing. I mean, the, the little fella, he was uh, formerly known as Gibraltar II from fragments of a skull found in 1926 in excavation. I mean, they're such sentient beings when you, when you see them here. Yeah. Those expressions, I mean, what are they thinking? There's that sort of cheeky grin about her. She's almost looking at you and, and seeing right through you and understanding what you're thinking. And the, the little fella's almost like holding on because he's not sure. But, you know, we talk about Neanderthals and modern humans and that already creates a division. Suddenly from Gibraltar 1 and 2 skulls we have faces and names and suddenly you're much closer to them and they're much closer to you.